if you steal a candy bar from Walmart, because they will prosecute you at Walmart, that you just should be sitting in Henry County Jail for 30 days waiting to go to trial when it's going to cost me more money to house you than the candy bar. So sometimes you have to ask yourself, is the juice worth the squeeze? So there was a huge issue a few months ago regarding the resource officers in the um, Henry County schools. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that that should, should have remained in the Sheriff's Department? Or do you think that should have been taken over by the county? Well, I feel that previous administration before the one that we have now was doing a great job with it. Apparently the school board was pleased with the services they were receiving. What I don't understand is what happened, where the ball was dropped. But I will tell you is if you're campaigning or um, saying that you're here for the community and for the kids, well, that's the best way to get to the kids is to be in the schools. I myself was a cadet explorer scout for the fire and police department. I did not learn about that from nowhere. There was a deputy at my school that put me onto that. And that, and that was at 14 years old. I became an explorer scout and I did that through my school. I think that education is paramount and sometimes you have to be there to show by example. Do you have a plan for the court and warrant services as well? Yes. I believe that the warrants need to be handled in a different manner. There needs to be a better streamline between the court system and the jail or correction, the court system and the sheriff's office. Um, I would go and sit down with each judge and we'd come up with a plan together aside my plan. Um, I feel that aside of the jail, the warrants division needs to be fully staffed with deputies also. There's a certain amount of deputies that work at nighttime that sit in courthouse for what reason? That's a waste of money. They went to the same law enforcement academy as I did. They need to grab the keys to the car, grab a stack of warrants, and go serve those warrants. Imagine if you owned a bunch of property, and now that the pandemic's over, you can't get your property back or people to serve the writs. You're losing money as a taxpayer on top of losing money because you can't profit off the property that you have. So what is your approach on crime? My approach on crime is this. As elected constitutional officer, if you have a warrant for your arrest, you are going to jail. I'm not with the, oh, I'm sick, I don't feel good, I can't go to the hospital, or uh, we've decided not to extradite. There was a presentation a couple of weeks ago to the Board of Commissioners, and the presentation was with, was with respect to the overcrowding of Henry County's jail. But the percentage of people in the jail that are in jail for misdemeanors is about 50%. Do those people need to be in jail? Do they need to be locked up? Well, as sheriff, you have to assess that as well. Um, I can't say yes or no, but what I can tell you is if you're in jail for crimes against a person, meaning if you know you harm somebody, you need to be in jail, whether it's a misdemeanor or not. Um, secondly, if you're in there for a nonviolent crime, you can be OR'd and come back to court another day. I have not in agreement to. So how would you work with the courts to reduce um, the jail population? We would develop a site and release program with the other jurisdictions depending on the crime. But you still need to come to jail to get processed. We still need your fingerprints and you still would have to make bond. What if you can't make bond? Then it'd be up to the chief deputy or myself to make other arrangements or decisions whether you should be released or not. How would you work with the Henry County Police to combat crime? Well, I feel that Henry County Police, not just them, you have Locust Grove, you have the city of Hampton, you have the city of Stockbridge, and you have the city of McDonough, I'm sorry. I feel that all those agencies need to sit down and then, as you can see, the burglary rate is up in Henry County, the carjacking is up in Henry County. Um, I work in a jurisdiction that bumps up against Henry County and I know that a lot of the crime and the violent crime that happens in Henry County flows into the jurisdiction where I work at. So if you put together a multi-jurisdictional agency, meaning that you take one or two officers from each surrounding agency, you swear them in and deputize them, they have the same jurisdictional boundaries, you can combat those issues better. Um, I feel that gangs are a problem and we need to address these gang members directly. 
What else would you like to tell the people about your campaign? Um, you can check me out anywhere on Facebook or Madison for Sheriff. It's on Instagram. It's on TikTok. <laughs> um, or you can go to the website and show your support at MadisonForSheriff.com. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I'm a law enforcement veteran. And I'm just here to make some changes. And I'll answer the phone. That sounds good. We appreciate you being here. And thank you so much for joining us on another episode of South Metro TV.